Launch Credder TPMS 5011 V2 versus CRT 5011 ETPMS tool. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, your ultimate hub for automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. Smash that subscribe button, hit the bell, and show some love with a super thanks. What is the difference between 2024 Launch Credder TPMS 5011 V2 and CRT 5011 E slash CRT 5011 X? TPMS Diagnostic Slash Service Tool. Here's a clear breakdown comparing the Launch Credder TPMS 5011 V2 with the Launch CRT 5011 E Slash CRT 5011 X in easy to read sentences. The Launch Credder TPMS 5011 V2 is the upgraded version of the CRT 5011 E Slash CRT 5011 X. It features a 5 inch screen with 720 by 1280 resolution compared to the smaller 3.5-inch screen with 320x480 resolution in the CRT5011e. The TPMS5011 V2 runs on Android 8.1, making it more user-friendly, while the CRT5011e operates on an ARM system. In terms of battery, the 5011 V2 has a larger 6,000 mAh capacity compared to the 3,100 mAh in the CRT5011e. For storage, the TPMS 5011 V2 includes 2GB RAM and 32GB storage, while the CRT 5011 E has 2GB RAM and 16GB storage. The new model also supports 2.4GHz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which the CRT 5011 E lacks. Both models accept OBDI connector input voltage from 9 to 18 volts. The special functions offered by the TPMS 5011 V2 are extensive, including EPB, service reset, battery match, ABS bleed, EGR reset, SAS reset, DPF regeneration, immobilizer, injector coating, sunroof initialization, seats calibration, and window slash door calibration, whereas the CRT 5011 E does not support additional special functions. Four updates. The 5011 V2 offers one-click updates via Wi-Fi, while the CRT 5011E updates via an SD card. Although TPMS functions are similar between models, the TPMS 5011 V2 is expected to add a repair database, diagnostic playback, and Tesla TPMS activation functions soon. In summary, the launch TPMS 5011 V2 offers a larger screen, a more intuitive Android interface, enhanced storage, a stronger battery, and additional special functions, making it an ideal choice for those looking for a more advanced TPMS tool. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that super thanks button. Until next time, happy diagnosing.